Okay. So there's one other kind of idea here that we need to play with as well, and that's the notion of externalizing our toxins. So we still suffer from the same problem. Everything lives in the same TO file. I put it in the same TO file. Ugh. A project gets sufficiently complicated, and then it's really hard to know where something's moved and where something hasn't moved. So let's go back here to our project. I'm going to go ahead and nerf all these silly little things. I'm going to add a new container. I'm going to set up a little fast render network inside. I want a camera, a geometry, and a light. Great. Grab all those goobers, move them on over here. I'm going to go ahead and add a render top. Oh my goodness, favorite fun fact learned, learned from, uh, from the summit. If you're holding any operator, Alt-N will automatically generate a null uh, in that same family and add it to your network. So I'm going to go ahead and call this null final. I'm going to back out a layer here on my container. I'm going to make sure that it looks at dot slash null final. Oops. Fine. All matters if you spell it right. We're going to do a few other things here. I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to save this component because I want to externalize it. I'm going to add a new folder for this silly little thing. New folder. EXT talks. I'm going to put it inside of this. Save that. A few other rigmarole pieces to do. I need to point at it. So here in this external talks, I'm going to point at that talks file that I want to use. I'm going to turn off this save backup. Save backup will save it in the tow file as well. And I don't want to do that uh, when I work this way. I need to save. Uh, my container talks, I need to save this talks one more time because I've changed a bunch of these parameters. Great. And then I'm going to go ahead and save the TO file. Okay. Now, if I swap back on over to my little local GitHub tool, sure enough, I can see they've got two new files. Well, I've got a new file and a changed file. I've added this container talks and I've changed my TO file. So, in my summary, I might say uh, updates to toe for externals. Uh, externalized container saves toe with adjustments. Great. I'm going to commit that to my master. I'm going to push that. All right. And what I should see now, fingers crossed when I swap back over the web is I should now see lo and behold there's that folder external talks there's my tow file and I can even go ahead and take a look at our uh, commit history here and I can see all the different things that have happened aha great but I realized something oh my god my resolution is wrong on this container Ah, what am I going to do? Well, luckily for me, I go up to my layout page. Let's change that 1280 by 720. Now, at this point, I've only changed the container. That's the only thing, only place where I've made an actual edit. So let's right click on this. Let's save this component. We're going to write over the top of the thing that we just saved. And now when I go back uh, to see my changes, I can see that I modified this talks. I didn't modify the tow file and change anything else. I only changed this talks, which is what I really care about. So fixed resolution, updated incorrect resolution. I'm going to commit that to my master. I'm going to go ahead and push that to the origin, right? I'm going to push that out to the internet. And what I should see now when I swap back over to the web, and refresh is sure enough, aha, I have a record of when I've made specific changes, when I've fixed bugs, all of those things that I might want to be able to do that is really hard to do, especially if it's all wrapped up in one single TO file. And you know you fixed something, but you don't know where you fixed it. So that's, that's part of the big idea here. The other thing that we can do is here in our history, if we wanted to, uh, we could actually go back and switch to one of these earlier versions. 
So it suddenly got all broken and we needed to revert actually to one of these uh, commits. We could revert to that commit and throw away all the changes that we had made so that we could move back to what we knew was a working state. And that's pretty rad. That is like a, a life changer. If you've ever worked on a project where things have gotten suddenly all broken, you don't know where it was broken, you know that you had it working at one point. So how do we rewind to the place where it was working and then work from there? The other thing that's worth taking a look at here and a, a feature of Git that's worth using in all of your work, if you can, is this notion of branches. So most of us will probably have been in that circumstance where you've made a bunch of changes. There's going to be a review, but the review isn't until 5 p.m. And it's 8 a.m. and you have work that you want to do during the day to keep kind of moving along. But that might break things before you get to your review at the end of the day. Well, you can make a copy, work in the copy, do your changes there, and then, you know, you can do that, but that could be really fussy. And if you've got a bunch of dependencies or file paths, or that could be frustrating. So how could we do that here with Git? All right, so let's first start here in GitHub. What we're going to do is we're going to create a new branch. And I'm going to call this branch dev. Oh, luckily it said, hey, I couldn't find that. Would you like to create a new one? Yes, I would. That's the name I want to give it. Let's create that branch and let's publish it. We should see now that my current branch is dev. That's where I'm working. And this will be really handy, we'll see here in a second, that we can make a bunch of changes in dev, switch back over to our master, switch back over to our dev. So we have a way to have a, a complete working finished state and have a workspace where we're actually doing our interesting kind of like experiment, our experiments and uh, new alterations, and then switch back. Okay, so I'm going to dive here inside a container. You know what I want to do is I want to take this idea of externalizing just one step further. I want to insert a base and I'm going to call this post because I want to add a little post process here, right? Rad, I'm going to make sure these are connected back up. Now I've changed this container, so I need to save this component, right? Lovely, excellent. And you'll notice I haven't saved the tow file yet because we haven't changed the tow file. We've only changed the toxes. I'm going to save this thing, my post process. I'm going to also put it in the same external tox folder. I have to play the same game. I need to point to it. Hey, it's actually this tox. Please don't save a backup of it because I don't want you to actually do that. I'm going to save you one more time to make sure the changes that I've made over here to my parameters are actually in the component that I'm saving. Great, save that. Let's go inside and now let's actually make some, some changes in here. 